the Coffs Harbour region, got smaller scale berries right up to large scale. The impacts, you know, they're severe. Some of the guys were underwater, lost a whole of crop. And there's a lot of money to replace those crops, so they're severely affected. A number of industries were heavily impacted and most of those are predominantly in the North Coast. The Early Needs Recovery Program has provided 1.7 million to 12 representative organisations made up of nine industries. That funding is provided directly to industry. They've come up with a plan of targeted activities that they're implementing for their primary producers to target specific challenges or barriers to recovery. The Early Needs Recovery Program has been working with Berries Australia to provide funding through the program. They were looking at ways that they can use innovation or digital tools to provide awareness to the wider industry. For example, they've been undertaking some drone mapping to look at soil erosion. I've been employed as a recovery and resilience officer. As part of that, we're looking at different areas on farm to improve efficiencies. That could be in energy, water, plant production, uh, yeah, in the business cases. We look at energy bills, what energy they're consuming, what pumps are in place, what you know, energy infrastructure is in place, and um, look for areas to improve. Off the back of this funding, we've got some great use cases, well, three really strong use cases. That's with the energy audit, the irrigation audit, and the drone mapping. I think it's important to enable that engagement with growers, so those one-on-one -on -one site visits, I think they're probably the most important piece of extension services. Collaboration, utilising our skills at Berries Australia to build from there and provide, I guess, some of those resilience messages around yeah, what can the growers do to move into the future and be better protected from some of these events. The feedback so far I think is really reflective of the time spent at the start of the program engaging with those industry bodies and we've been able to deliver a program that's really tailored to their needs. The support for the beef industry has been a collaboration between Department of Primary Industries and local land services staff so we've been able to get that on ground expertise from the local land services staff as well as the research expertise from Department of Primary Industries to build a training package for the beef industry to support their recovery. In terms of the dairy industry, the local land services staff have been able to engage consultants to deliver one-on-one -on -one consultations with impacted dairy farmers. Some of the activities that the industry bodies are doing will really have a legacy going forward. The information that they'll gain from those activities will then put them in a better place to deal with future floods.